Welcome to the live edition of Breaking News. Newsflash. Trip dot plus weather. It's final episode of the season. Oh, I'm going to miss this. It's a shame we're graduating. We make such a good team. Wait, what? I said we make such a great team. No, no, you said final episode. Oh, yeah, isn't it exciting? <sighs> totally. <laughs> um, great, this is going to be so much more fun than watching Requiem as a dream. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Would some stories cheer you up, Ayla? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, great. UCLA mistakenly sent out acceptance e emails to nearly 900 prospective students who did not actually get into the college. Later that day, 900 prospective students mistakenly burned the UCLA campus to the ground. <laughs> After the text from Hillary meme took over the internet this past month, Hillary Clinton herself has become hit to the craze. She sent the creators, Stacey Lamb and Adam Smith, a signed copy of the meme, thanking them for the lols and signing it, Hills. Now, if only I could get ridiculously photogenic to return my calls. <laughs> Eleven secret service agents were fired last week after reports emerged that they had rendezvous with Colombian prostitutes. The agents insisted that the women were merely terrorists and that they apprehended repeatedly. <laughs> What was supposed to be an impressive display of North Korea's technology and power failed miserably after the rocket stayed in the air for less than a minute before crashing into the Yellow Sea. Sounds pretty familiar. Isn't that right, Maurice? Uh, Ayla, are you okay? Oh my god, I'm totally great. I just can't wait to do this next week. Next week? You're, you're acting a little... Never! Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Ayla, I, I, I think you might be going through the stages of grief. I guess this would be called denial. I deny that. Well, here's something that we can't deny our own reporter, Harrison Richland's journalistic integrity. What's the word on the street, Harrison? I'm going to play a quick game right now. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. All right, I'm going to tell you some facts about the current presidential candidates, and you're going to tell me which one is a lie, okay? All right, ready? Newt Gingrich worked at an IHOP to pay for his education. Ron Paul received his medical residency in obstetrics and gynecology. And Obama served as a community organizer in Chicago. Which one is the lie? Good Lord. Hopefully Ron Paul. Mitt Romney did two of the following three things. Did he serve as governor of Massachusetts, lose the U.S. Senate seat to Ted Kennedy, or become a member of the famous R&B group Boys to Men? He did not become a member of the famous R&B group Boys to Men. That is true that he did not do that, but don't you wish he did? I guess that would be good. Ron Paul did two of the following three things. Did he run for president under the Libertarian Party in 1988, publish over six books on American government, or raise a group of carrier pigeons that have since formed a rebel alliance against him? What do you think? That's a very serious question. Let's see the last one. Well, actually, that was a trick question. All three are, very, are facts. It's been a long fought out political battle these past few months. But finally, the race to the White House is beginning to take form. I hope this segment has kept you up to date and informed in the political world. And if not, you're probably a lot smarter than I am. Thanks for watching. Now back to you, Christina Nayla. It's all my fault, isn't it? If I wasn't graduating this year like an idiot, this wouldn't be our last show ever th this season. <laughs> Don't feel guilty, Ayla. This is just the next stage of the grieving process. Soon you'll come to terms with all this. Thank you, Christine. I actually feel like a weight has been lifted, and then dropped a little on one side, but then you catch it again, and it's cool kind of situation. It's funny you should mention that, because you know what else is heavy? Babies! A Spanish nun has been charged with orchestrating a baby theft ring. Here to comment is the accused sister, Maria Gomez Balumba. <laughs> Whoa, 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 I do not speak Spanish. Now tell me how you have become involved with this baby theft ring. You see, uh, people don't understand how boring it is to be a nun. And all we do is pray, and sometimes we just need to uh, let loose. By stealing babies? No, 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 no. It started out in innocently enough. We, we and the sisters were playing a game of King, King's Cup, like we do every Tuesday morning. <laughs> Mother Superior made a rule that every time we curse, we had to steal a baby. It was a dare. I will never go back down on a dare. 
And what happened to the babies after you stole them? Well, we gave them away. Angelina Jolie got quite a few. And the ones that we couldn't sell went to St. Francis Orphanage in Madrid. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did you say St. Francis Orphanage? Hey, look at my interview. Wait, that's the orphanage I grew up in. You grew up in a Spanish orphanage? Yes, the nuns told me that my mother died in a freak ventriloquist accident. <laughs> that's what we tell them all. All these orphans want to know about their, they won't shut up about their stupid parents and we need to tell them something. Wait, am I one of the babies that you stole? It all makes sense now. My love for flamenco, my skill as a matador. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six. Ah, oh, adios mío, I'm a stolen Spanish baby. Ayla, I am so Wait, sick of you me? butting in with your emotional revelations. This is my moment, and this is the last show, and you're stealing the spotlight like a crazy nun steals babies. I need a drink. Oh, wait, wait, who am I? <laughs> Well, I have no idea what stage of grief that was. Zach Arch probably doesn't know either, but he does know how to make a kick-ass segment about online dating. Zach, take it away. Online dating websites like Yoke.com are now matching people by interest found on Facebook. This sounds pretty foolproof, but it raises the question, why the hell am I still single? What are some of your interests on Facebook? Yeah, I'm really to Andrew Bird, the musician. I don't know who that is. 30 Seconds to Mars. That sucks. Yeah, that, yeah. Um, Looking more along the lines of Dexy's Midnight Runners. Blowing bubbles. Blowing bubbles? Blowing bubbles. I love blowing bubbles. All right, there we go. Awesome. Awesome dating. So you should kiss me right now. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I have never and will never have a Facebook. Then how'd you guys meet? Ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee, like in real life or like a page, like on, on some website? It was a club um, with music and dancing and things like that. That sounds like a lot of work. I can literally just roll out of my bed and friend request people. Do you want to be my virtual girlfriend? What's a virtual girlfriend? Zach? Virtual girlfriend is like we never have to meet in public. Don't check my uh, my Google history. All right. Why? Don't ask questions. Excuse me. Did you guys meet on Facebook? <laughs> All right. So you're DTF, right? Down to Facebook. Well, after a long time of playing the field, I'm happy to report I finally found true love. Her name is Siri and we are really happy together. She listens to what I have to say, and she really cares about my interests. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, come on, Ayla, it's not that bad. I mean, think of all the good times we had. Like, remember we got to interview Alan Rickman? Yeah. Or Donald Draper from Mad Men came on the show. He looked pretty hot. He was, wasn't he? Or when Dan Halbrook would sing us those cute, cute little songs. Yes. Well, he's got another song right here for us right now. Here to tell us all about his plans for the summer of 2012 musical analyst guest Dan Halbrook. Thanks, you guys. If, as the Mayans believe, this is the last summer before the world ends, you should make it count. So I've laid out some fun activities for summer you all should consider. The first thing I'll do this summer is I'm gonna get a tan. Pirate all my music and some DVDs. Gonna stick it to the man. I'll knock over major retail stores. Kidnap a person or two or three. Gonna topple a third world government. Start a bloody, bloody coup. <laughs> That's it. Wow, my problems suddenly seem a lot less significant. Thank you, Dan. Now, Fox News has found and fired the mole who had been writing insider columns for Gawker.com. Here to discuss the scandal, we have the mole himself, Fox executive Joe Muto. So, Joe, what have you been up to since the firing? Actually, I just managed to secure one of the more evil internships in the industry. I'll be at the Red Cross Foundation. Wait, what? Don't be so naive, Ayla. They're drinking the blood. <laughs> What sort of qualifications did that job take? Well, to get the job at Fox was my greatest triumph. It required a pretty hefty evil resume. For them to even read my application, I had to push skating with the celebrities through the production and invent those perforated pages that always tear in half. That was you? Curse you, Muto! To get the gig with the Red Cross, I proposed that puff of air to fill up the second half of the chip bag and the phrase, 
YOLO. <laughs> what are you even majoring in? Criminal law. Oh, that's surprisingly noble. I agree. If criminals don't write their own laws, then who will? That's not what that is. So you're just interning your way back up the evil corporate ladder to Fox. Well, yes and no. Becoming the Fox Mole was only the beginning. But that was your end of your job at Fox. The Fox canceled Arrested Development. I want nothing to do with it. I mean, I'm pretty evil, but even I have my limits. <laughs> but it's not the Fox I want to be working for anyway. It's the mole. What? The only creature more sinister than the fox himself, my mole man king. You're working for the mole people? What do they even want? Fox was just the beginning. We're taking down the entire paid cable universe. Uh, wait, Fox Mole, you're not suggesting. This internship is merely the nipples on this Batman suit of sheer evil. <laughs> I will be a servant to the great Mole Man race. All right, Fox the Joe Mole, everyone. <laughs> Christine, Christine, I want to thank you for being so understanding. I know I was being a little bit unreasonable earlier. You're being a crazy bitch. But I think that we'll be okay. We're gonna, we're gonna weather the storm. Oh, weather. Oh, crap! Weather! Oh, right, we have Stan the Weatherman standing by with a report on this beautiful weather. Oh. Oh, my God. It appears Stan was just mortally injured by a lava lamp accident. Ah, oh, damn his love of 70s novelty items. Man, that guy really has the worst luck. I always thought it would have been the pet rock. Well, that's our show for tonight. I'm Christine Ryan. And that's A-Law Davidson on behalf of all of us here at Breaking News. No, wait, Christine, Christine. I'm not ready to close the show yet. I can't do it. Oh, come on, A-Law. You've had this entire episode. No, I'm not leaving. You can't make me. You're right. Can we just get the executive producers in here? Dan, Julie? A-Law, hey, you have to close the show. We're mm. running over time. Mm. I never had to deal with us alliance then. Never. Never. <laughs> okay, but I can't. I'm not ready to say goodbye. I mean, I'm not ready to say goodbye to you or, or Christine or... Harrison or Don Draper? Dan, why don't you let me take care of this? Donald Draper! <laughs> calm down, calm down. It's actually John Ham, but whatever. Um, look, Ela, life is like a carousel. It'll spin you round and round, and maybe you'll be afraid, but you can't let yourself fall off, because sometimes all you can do is hold tight to the prettiest horse and try not to throw up on your grandparents. <laughs> but that's enough, because once you step off the ride and go to play skee-ball and rot your teeth on overpriced cotton candy, you'll realize that it was all worth it. And the fear, it never happened. It will shock you how much it never happened. Christine Ryan. And on behalf of us all here at Breaking News, have, have a, a lovely, lovely evening. Uh, Mr. Draper, I know that you're an ad man, but have you ever considered hosting a new show? Hosting? No, not really. But uh, I do have a lot of respect for what you guys do here. Uh, I know when I was young, my father used to say to me, journalism is the soul of political discourse, <laughs> the heart of democracy, and without it, society is just bound to... Are you guys even listening to me? I... Hmm? Uh, what? God damn my sex appeal. <laughs>